Hey guys, I was recently asked what are the best supplements for someone suffering with fibromyalgia. There are three primary supplements that you need to be aware of if you're suffering from fibromyalgia, and I'll explain that in just a moment. As I mentioned, someone asked what the most important supplements would be for someone suffering with fibromyalgia. And let me say that fibromyalgia is a complex syndrome that has multiple layers of dysfunction, which means for most people, supplements alone are not going to completely do away with the symptoms of fibromyalgia. I will say that these three supplements I'm about to share with you, along with an anti-inflammatory type diet, will definitely make a difference in the intensity of the fibromyalgia symptoms. The three supplements are magnesium, vitamin D, and B-complex. Now, don't go run off and buy them. Let me share with you why I mention that. So, there are a lot of other supplements that might benefit you, but these three are very powerful. So, allow me to share why I say that. In the Journal of Primary Care and Community Health, magnesium is known to play an important role in the prevention of central sensitization by blocking NMDA receptors in a voltage-dependent manner. So magnesium deficiency has been largely associated with, get this, muscle pain along with fatigue, sleep difficulties, and anxiety all of which are common symptoms of fibromyalgia. In some studies, it's thought that magnesium deficiencies through reductions in muscle ATP levels can play a role in the actual development of fibromyalgia. Then we're looking at PubMed. It says the aim of these studies were to investigate the relationship between magnesium levels and fibromyalgia symptoms and to determine the effect of magnesium treatment on these symptoms, pain intensity, pain threshold, the number of tender points, the tender point index, the fibromyalgia impact questionnaire, the Beck depression, and the Beck anxiety scores, and the patient symptoms were evaluated in all women. So if you didn't get that, those are all ways that you're evaluating the symptoms through um, basically assessment forms um, in those suffering with fibromyalgia. All parameters were reevaluated after eight weeks of treatment. The serum and erythrocyte magnesium levels were significantly lower in patients with fibromyalgia than in the controls. Also, there was a negative correlation between the magnesium levels and fibromyalgia symptoms. The number of tender points, tender point index, the FIQ, the Beck depression scores decreased significantly with the magnesium treatment. The magnesium treatment was effective on tender points and the intensity of fibromyalgia. Then we're looking at vitamin D. So what are the signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency? Well, severe lack of vitamin D causes rickets, which shows up in children as incorrect growth patterns, weakness in muscles, pain in the bones, and deformities in the joints. This is rare, however. Children who are deficient in vitamin D can also have muscle weakness and sore and painful muscles. Lack of vitamin D is not quite as obvious in adults. Signs and symptoms might include fatigue, bone pain, muscle weakness, muscle aches, or muscle cramps, mood changes like depression. The Cleveland Clinic says that 42% of the United States population is vitamin D deficient, with some populations having even higher levels of deficiency, including premenopausal women, those with poor nutritional habits, people over the age of 65, Caucasians who avoid even minimal sun exposure, and those who take prescription medications long-term for heartburn, acid reflux, and constipation. The latest research links vitamin D deficiency to mood swings, depression, lack of energy, skin conditions, and other chronic diseases. So you can see there's a lot going on there that may correlate with the fibromyalgia patient. Vitamin B deficiency, signs and symptoms of vitamin B deficiency, say B6, uh, getting sick from infections more often than others. Um, B6 helps support your immune system. Getting cracks and sores in the skin around the corners of your mouth or a swollen and sensitive tongue. Fatigue, a feeling of numbness or tingling in your hands and feet. This is known as paresthesis. 
depression, anxiety, or irritability, um, a red, itchy rash, often oily or flaky, convulsions, decreased alertness. Now, B9 deficiencies are fatigue, gray hair, mouth sore, swollen tongue, weakness, shortness of breath, pale skin, irritability. B12 deficiencies, a feeling of numbness or tingling in your hands or feet, smooth appearing tongue, fatigue, weakness, mouth sores, mood changes, blurry vision, loss of breath, dizziness, pale skin. Vitamin B deficiencies can increase the risk of various diseases and conditions, which can affect your heart health, your brain health, mental well-being, and a whole lot more. Other conditions linked with vitamin B deficiencies include peripheral neuropathy, which is a nervous system condition that is often felt as a stabbing or burning pain, and psychosis, a mental condition in which one's thoughts and perceptions are significantly altered, resulting in delusions, hallucinations, nonsense speech or other symptoms, heart attack, and stroke. Deficiencies in vitamin B12 may heighten the risk of getting a heart attack or a stroke. So as you can see, deficiencies in magnesium, vitamin D, and vitamin B mimic a lot of the symptoms we see in the fibromyalgia patient. Now, I truly believe if you add these supplements along with that anti-inflammatory diet, you'll see some major changes in your pain level, your fatigue, and your brain fog. An anti-inflammatory diet would revolve around lean protein, predominantly vegetable-based diet with some fruit, nuts, and seeds. So it's not so much what you're eating, and that is important, but what you're not eating. So you're not eating processed foods. You're not eating wheat. You're not eating corn. You're not eating soy. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to pharmaceutical grade magnesium, vitamin D, and vitamin B complex. Now, when I say pharmaceutical grade, it means that the product has been checked by a third party verifying its contents. Uh, pharmaceutical grade also means that it is bioavailable, and that means your body can break it down and use it for your good. I'm also going to leave a 20% discount code so you can actually buy the product if you choose to and save some money. In our fibromyalgia patients, I always see multiple layers of dysfunction, not just vitamin deficiencies. So there may be food sensitivities, yeast overgrowth, pathogenic bacteria, parasites, leaky gut syndrome, hidden viral infections, mold exposure, toxicity including environmental toxins, heavy metals. So there's no easy fix. But if you use the functional medicine protocols that I use, which start with the discovery step, we actually determine what these hidden underlying issues are, what the triggers are for each and every individual. So it's different for every fibromyalgia patient. Now there may be some common causes and triggers, but everyone is unique. So if you'd like to know more, you can go to beatingfibro.com. If you'd like to schedule a fibromyalgia assessment call with me personally, you can go to talktodrd.com. If you've got something out of this video, please like it and subscribe to the page. We put out a video every week designed to help you beat fibromyalgia. But thank you guys. God bless you and have a great day. Dr. Mark Daly is the founder of Fibromyalgia University the president of Birmingham Functional Medicine, creator of Fibromyalgia Heroes, which is a coaching and implementation recovery program. He is a certified functional medicine practitioner, a nutritional counselor, and a doctor of chiropractic. He has advanced education in functional endocrinology, functional blood chemistry, the brain and neurotransmitters, as well as thyroid function.